With Anime Studio 9.5, it seems like a lot of attention was put towards the little details. And I don't mean this in a bad way, because it really enhances the workflow. And case in point for this tutorial, you are allowed to see your color effects get applied to whatever shape you're working with at the time, as well as your brush types. So if I take the body layer here and just click on the select shape tool and make sure that the shape is selected, I can go forward with this and see the effects take place. Now, another addition, I believe this is an addition, I have never seen this before until 9.5, is the checker selection. If you deselect this, it will get rid of that checkered pattern, which makes looking at your objects a whole lot easier, especially when we are editing here. So if I go to my shaded effect and I start moving things around here, you can see that as I move the light angle, it's affecting the drawing on the canvas. And before this didn't happen that way. And as I make changes, you can see the changes occur right on the canvas. So that's really helpful because before you would have to adjust based on the sphere basically and think okay well this is kinda how I want it to look you click OK it apply and then you're like well I don't know about that and you can go back in and it was basically a whole process so now some of your color effects will change live so that you can make sure that you're getting the right effect the same goes for your brush types. Right now I have, once again, the character selected. And if I click on No Brush, I can bring up now the brush panel, of course. And as I go through now and change these brushes out, you can see that it's changing on the canvas. So again, it's really cool and it's really helpful. And just as a comparison here, I have Anime Studio 9 pulled up and as you can see when I go forward and try to change the light angle here first of all you can't really see it because of the checkered pattern but second it doesn't update live and the same goes for the brush types you can see that the line isn't changing it just you kinda click OK afterwards and then it would apply and then you would have to go back in and adjust if you needed to but anyway that is one small addition. Again, an addition that I really appreciate, so I'm glad it's there. If you would like more tutorials on Anime Studio, you can visit my YouTube channel and please subscribe. I also have a website, IncredibleTutorials.com, and I also have tutorials on Flash, Anime Studio, of course, and Premiere. So be sure to check those out if you are looking for more tutorials. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.